Linux is created by a variety of programmers. Some Linux programmers live for the future. I call them the planners. Planners believe that things must get better over time. They tend to ask, what is the best possible answer? <laughs> Usually planners can't agree on anything, but when they agree, they make revolutionary changes to Linux. Planners see things in a unique way. A planner's account of computing history might be a little slanted. The Book of Genesis of Programming, Chapter 1, Verse 1 through 5. In the beginning there was hardware, and the hardware was crappy and without standards and confusion reigned upon the face of many. And Knut said, Let there be accessible programming knowledge. And there was accessible programming knowledge. And standards arose, and it was good. And the ISO divided the software standards from the hardware standards. And the ACM called the hardware hackers engineers, and the software hackers they called programmers. And the evening and the morning were the first generation of programming. Amen. On the other hand, there are the Linux programmers that live from day to day. I call these Linux programmers realists. Realists rapidly adjust to changing situations. They tend to gently evolve Linux to solve issues. Linux realists keep Linux functional and relevant. Realists tend to get stuff done in a hurry, but Sometimes they create more problems than they fix. Realists also see things in their own way. Their account of computing history might be something else. In days of yore, mighty men hewed bits in the code. Most of those men and their programs were killed by program errors but they died with honor. A noble few wrote the kernel, and then came a golden age of programming and opportunity. Most of those programs were crap, but we could choose from many different flavors of crap. Let us drink to the mighty men of yore. In the last few years, the planners have coordinated to make a revolutionary change to Linux system administration. This change is called System D. System D replaces the Linux master startup and control program, but it goes way beyond that. It's like, we got a new couch, but it didn't exactly match the living room. So, then we remodeled the bathroom and the kitchen, we painted the house, and then we bought all new appliances and furniture. The end result will probably be nice, but many that go through this process are going to wish they had never bought the couch. System D displaces and impacts many things. System D looks like this. The hardware talks to the kernel. The kernel interacts with System D. Then System D interacts with its management programs. And finally, System D management programs are used by the Linux admin. 
The System D management programs have names like System CTL, Journal CTL, System D Analyze, System G C G L S, System D Notify, IP, System D Resolve D, System D Time Sync D, and Login CTL. The Displaced or Impacted Linux management programs have names like init, init D, init tab, run level, service, udev, if config, including IP up and IP down, ARP, bind, and NTP. The transition to system D has been rocky. There are many complaints. They include, but what do we do when it fails? And it will take years to debug all this new code. And we've been using some of the old tools for 30 years. That's, that's eternity in IT. It will take forever to change all the documentation, the certifications, and our core tech terminology. So currently, virtually all Linux certifications and existing Linux documentation assume the old ways of doing Linux system management. But almost all current Linux distributions use System D. You can see System D's control over your system by looking at the process tree or PS tree command. Now, System D is the master process. It starts and manages all other processes. Most current Linux distributions, like Ubuntu 1804, remove the old management programs and only support the System D functionality. Today, you must use System D to manage most Linux systems. Here is a partial list of Linux functionality that has been displaced or impacted by System D.